going to have to interrupt this call. I understand we, we're going to go to a live picture in Los Angeles. Uh, is that correct? Okay. This is Interstate 5, and this is courtesy of KCALR, one of our L.A. affiliates. Police believe that that O.J. Simpson is in that car. Now they're telling me that they, be they believe that this vehicle is registered to Al Cowlings, uh, one of uh, O.J.'s oldest friends, a teammate at Southern Cal. And they believe that Al Cowling, who's the other person they're looking for, who was with O.J. earlier today, they believe, again, they believe that this is the car. We do not know this is the car. They're going south through Orange County, but nobody is pulling this car over. And we could only guess as to why not. All right, I guess they're just being They careful. may fear that uh, there are arms in that car. They may fear that uh, Simpson may harm himself. Now police radio is saying that Simpson has a gun at his head. Reuters is reporting that the police tracked O.J. Simpson through his cellular phone. They're Look at all the cars on this radio. next bridge, man. That's a helicopter reporting, talking to KCAL, saying, "Look at all those cars on that bridge, looking down." This is a living drama. There's, not, there's nothing else you can say, but we're going to stay with it. It's, California it's, it's Highway Patrol has today. now confirmed to CNN that it is definitely yeah, our Cowling's no vehicle, and they are almost certain that O.J. is in the passenger seat. The cars on, on the top of the screen heading east on that freeway are just slowing down to look and get a glimpse of one of the icons of American sports history, O.J. Simpson, on this uh, tragic June day. This is Larry King as uh, we stay atop this scene. Jim Hill, famed sportscaster in Los Angeles, an old friend, a former athlete, old friend of O.J. Simpson, is uh, going on radio in Los just Angeles, still going westbound 91, appealing just approaching to O.J. Simpson uh, to turn himself in. The last thing Jim said was, O.J., you were a man, you are a man, be a man, turn yourself in. Earlier today, uh, Robert Shapiro had arranged for O.J. to turn himself in. Doctors were in attendance. They were all going to go together in a car because they were worried about suicide. When they went downstairs from a conference room in O.J.'s house, he was gone. They're going to go right toward the Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Brentwood areas where O.J. lives and where the two people killed also lived. It is an amazing sight. Uh, along the right-hand shoulder, people have pulled over, many of them carrying <coughs> signs such as signs reading things like Save the Juice, Go O.J. People are literally cheering him on as he travels north down on the 405, and we can only assume that he plans to get off at sunset and go towards perhaps his home. He's on the off-ramp now, coming up, uh, coming up the off-ramp uh, at sunset. That's he right. Looks he's like he's go. in the left lane now. Yeah. Uh, making, uh, making a left turn. The the intersection is uh, free, and he's clear. And now making his he, left turn uh, westbound on sunset. All right. And he is pulling in to the driveway. Coming around. Someone is going to the door right now, Eric. Okay. We're pulling up. Let me tell you. What I can see, we've just turned the corner. It, it, it's total chaos here. Motorcycles, black and white, people running around. Officers getting out of their cars with their, with their batons. We have found him. The door is opening, and let's see what happens now. We'll watch with you. This is the driver's side of the vehicle. Okay, someone just uh, got out of the vehicle, approaching the front door, dressed in black, and uh, entered. Looks like they entered the uh, the front of the house there. Uh, possibly O.J. Simpson.